What the hell? I'm speechless. <laughs> Guys, I am so excited to finally be doing a full face of Make Beauty. I'm branching out because I just can't put down the Prosecco. Like every single video I'm drinking Prosecco and you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's getting a little monotonous. So I thought I would break it up by making this little delicious concoction. This is a raspberry rose poppy mixed with Tito's. Served with two giant ass ice cubes because of course I need it as chilled as possible. Mm. For a spring drink that's a little on the sweeter side, this is really nice. Anything sweeter than this, I probably couldn't get down. Oh no, this is good and the colder it gets, the better it gets. So I placed a make order of my own months and months ago and I have fallen in love with some other products. Strap in, look at this box that Make sent me. Like it is chock full of incredible product. They didn't send me every single thing they make but they sent a lot and definitely enough to be able to do a mostly full face of makeup. They sent me a backup of the Radiant Skin Tint that I already have and they nailed the shade. They sent me my shade which is 01, thank you so much. They sent me their serum balm and their serum balm intense. I'm really excited to try the intense because that's newer, I believe. I tried the OG formula in the shade that they actually sent me this time, which is Halo Moon. It's kind of like a clear light pink shade. I didn't love the OG formula, so I'm really looking forward to trying the Intense. I have heard so much about these Cream Supreme High Impact Lipsticks. I saw so many people swatch these and they look gorge. And so stoked to tap into these two shades of the Heat Stroke Dewy Gel Tint. They sent me the shade Stimulated and the shade Baked. They didn't send me their new eyeshadows. I know, womp womp. I'm definitely gonna wanna pick those up because I've heard incredible things about them but we have got a lot to try so I'm really excited. I am going to use not quite as dewy a primer so I'm going to go in with the Dew Air Angel. This is a hydrating gel cream skincare product that also goes beautifully underneath makeup and it's kind of like a natural skin finish because like I said, I don't think we're gonna need a lot of extra dew here. We do want our skin really nice and prepped and hydrated. Okay, so now we're going in with the Diffusion Dew. This is the Radiant Skin Tint. I have this in what I believe is the lightest shade. It's 01, and there is two pumps of the product. Really is not too runny, not too thick. It's like a Goldilocks situation. This is a really beautiful sheer formula. It really lets the beauty of your own skin shine through. And when I tell you that I've literally gotten compliments from strangers when I've worn this foundation, it just looks like you've put a beautiful dewy like red carpet filter on your face. That's what it's giving. And now I'm so excited. We are going into the concealer. So they sent me the concealer shades 04 Light Warm and 01 Fair Neutral. I am the opposite of warm. So I'm very, very glad they sent me this shade. And here we have the concealer. I love Makes Sleek Packaging. From what I know about this, this is supposed to be a radiant concealer. This is what the applicator looks like. And this shade, as I had hoped, is absolute perfection. That's a great shade match. That just woke up my under eye. Like that is so incredibly brightening. I was hoping they'd send me the bronzer, but that's cool. We will just use one of my Rare Beauty bronzers, which I've kind of stepped away from. This is in the shade Happy Soul, just to kind of warm up the face a little bit. Okay, so we are bronzed. Now I'm pulling out my Diffusion Set Powder and she is well loved. This is literally the only powder I use right now. Because they didn't send a pigmented brow product, I'm gonna go in with the one that I use all the time, which is the Gen Z Arch Support in the shade Medium Brown. So we're gonna set my brows with their Infinite Hold Sculpting Brow Gel. I've heard really good things about this. I have high hopes because I've been disappointed by some brow gels recently. Oh my God, just killing it with the packaging every time. This looks like a mascara. This is gorgeous. I've never seen such a fancy packaging situation for brow gel. I'm obsessed. 
Oh, I love this brush. I can already tell I have great control with this. And this is very important to me because I do like to brush my brows up, not only because I like the look of that, there's also a functional reason. My left brow is placed higher than my right and it's just natural. And so in pictures, I often look just like truly evil and I'm not even trying, but like this brow is just naturally raised. So I always try to overcompensate by brushing this brow up a little bit more aggressively, it really does make a difference. Oh my God, this is the hold I'm looking for. Yes, 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 yes. I am loving this brow gel already. The fact that this has hold in its title really gave me a lot of faith in this product and it is not disappointing. I love the hold on this. I love the feel of this container. My first impression is a hell yes with this. This concealer is really doing it for me. It's kind of reminding me of the stretchy quality and the hydrating quality of the Glossier Stretch Concealer, but I have to say it might be setting down a little bit better uh, than the Glossier Stretch Concealer because sometimes that can stay just like a little tacky, but this feels a little bit more set down. Now I'm going in with the eyeshadow product, which is the Eye Shaping Stilo, and they sent me the shade Latitude. This is what the packaging looks like, and it is, you know, a cream eyeshadow formula. So that's what the shade looks like. And I'm just blending this out with my finger. Kind of like a nice light brown taupey situation. I'm just gonna go back in with that concealer and anytime I do eyeshadow, even if it's super simple, I do like to kind of go back in and touch up this area because some of the coverage gets lost and it looks a little patchy sometimes, like it doesn't look nice and seamless. See, the fact that this is keeping this up right now, like with some of the other brow gels I've tried recently, a few minutes later, I come back and this would have already fallen. I did my lashes. I used the very last bit of my Ilia mascara. It's now an empty. We're gonna jump into blush and they sent me two of their blush shades, very, very different shades. You guys know how I feel about a cream blush and there is the shade Baked. This is the shade Stimulated. Ooh, there's Baked. Really beautiful chocolatey brown. And this is the shade, oh my God. <laughs> Woo, that is the shade Stimulated. And she's not only stimulated, she's pigmented. First, I'm gonna dip into this baked shade and we already kind of bronzed, so I'm gonna go light with this, but I do wanna see what it looks like. These are very, very sheer. I'm gonna actually just put this right on my finger and go in and like that. So that's what the swatch looks like on my finger. Oh wow, okay, that's like really, really subtle. It's almost kind of like a nice cheek highlight as well. It's not giving me a lot of pigment. I'm gonna go right on my cheek. Well, if that isn't just like the prettiest bronzy shade, it's almost kind of going a little bit, I don't know, like English rose, right? Like a little kind of rosy bronzy. That's really interesting. I didn't expect it to look like that. That is stunning. So just to be equal, I'm gonna go and do the same on my other cheek. These are incredibly dewy and balmy. A little concerning out there with the sirens tonight. It's just kind of nonstop. <laughs> okay, that is the shade Baked, and you guys, I am pleasantly surprised. I honestly was kind of expecting to be like, maybe this isn't for me. This is not what I was expecting. This is so pretty. I mean, is this enough for me to wear alone as a blush, as like my only blush? Probably not for me because I'm such an intense blushaholic. Honestly, underneath another blush shade or as a bronzer, yes. It's really beautiful and the formula just gives you the most beautiful, glass cheek. And now we're going in with this beauty right here. So I kind of just like blended this out on my arm with the brush and that's what it looks like blended out on my arm. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a beautiful watercolor wash of color. So again, going in with the shade Stimulated. Oh my God. What the hell? <gasps> I'm speechless. Okay, so we got two different kinds of lip products to try. I'm gonna show you the lipsticks first because I'm gonna assume that I'm going to wanna end on one of the lip balms, but who's to say? So we are opening up the Cream Supreme High Impact Lipstick. Okay, so here is the beautiful packaging in the shade Atmospheric. Looks kinda like a peachy nude, right? A peachy brownie nude. 
This shade with what I'm wearing is not it, kids. I cannot handle how this shade looks right now. So let's take this off and let's go in with the other shade, which looks a little bit more up my alley, which is called Equilibrium. I like the shade a lot more. This formula is very tacky. It's creamy and tacky. It's just like a little bit too high impact. It's a little bit too tacky. It's a little bit too much. I mean, this might be perfect for somebody else, but let me try to actually blot this and see if I like that better. Oh, I didn't swatch this on my arm. Here, this is Equilibrium swatched. So that is like severely blotted. I like that a lot better. I don't like these built up on me to like their you know, fullest coverage. That looks a lot nicer, but again, probably wouldn't choose this shade with what I'm wearing. This this wouldn't be my choice. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I would choose this lipstick formula. It's not bad, it's just not for me. Okay, so they sent me one of the Serum Balms and one of the Serum Balms Intense. And I already tried the shade of the regular Serum Balm they sent. I wasn't super blown away by this balm product, so I'm gonna save this and give it to one of my friends. But I am excited to try the Intense version of this. Maybe I'll like that a little bit better. This is what the shade nude nova looks like in the packaging and there we have it on the doe foot i do love the doe foot applicator of these i'm hoping these have like a little bit more juiciness and oomph to them than the original formula i just felt like the original formula was thin and just honestly not very hydrating mm. Mm. yes this is what i wanted in the og formula thank you oh wow that is so buttery. It is so balmy. It is just gliding on. And look at how juicy it makes my lips look. That is wild how you can shift and change a formula and it can be that different. Like I really was not a fan of this. I feel completely different about this formula. I really, really love that. And I think it actually really works with the cheek and the earrings that I'm wearing. I have to say this is probably one of my most favorite like trying new makeup or trying a new brand, whatever you want to call it first impressions video I've ever done. I had no idea what to expect with some of these products. You know what? I haven't cheered something on my channel in a long time and I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna cheer something. Make heat stroke blush good job. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Mm.